Well, here in Massachusetts, one museum is celebrating history and community. They're recreating it just on a little bit of a smaller scale. The display has been growing for years, and so is the passion around it. Jordan went to check it out. It happens here, Roslindale. Once called the Garden Suburb of Boston, it was originally part of Roxbury before it was annexed in 1873. The neighborhood saw steady commercial development in the mid-19th century with the introduction of the horse-drawn streetcar. And the rail history of this neighborhood is celebrated here. This section of our layout is supposed to be based on Roslindale Square. At the Bay State Model Railroad Museum, filled with some of the most detailed and intricate model railroads you'll find in the state, from the commuter rail to the old electric trolleys. It's all run and created by unpaid volunteers like Mackenzie Morrison. She's currently working on a replica of the old Back Bay Station. And I also went to school for architecture, so I'm interested in building like scale models. Tom Lando, director of Open Houses, says he's seen a huge increase in volunteer members looking to join their club and work on the models. We have grown significantly in the last year or two. Which means the displays inside are also growing. Landro says the museum's main goal is to promote the hobby of model railroading in the Boston area. But what keeps visitors coming back over the decades are the scenes and places they recognize. Well, this firehouse, I think, is based off of an actual firehouse, maybe in Cambridge. And these familiar triple deckers that you see all over Boston. But what makes the Railroad Museum so special isn't just the intricate detail of the old neighborhoods, like this old theater showing Gone with the Wind. It's the community they've created and the talented volunteers that quite literally make the museum go round. If I like arts and crafts, and this is kind of like a way to show that. With the hope that their work will inspire the generations to come. I think uh, it really shows what you could do other than setting it up under the Christmas tree. They open up to the public several times a year, so keep an eye on their website for their next open house. They are also offering a new general membership for those who want to support the museum's work. That's $50 for the year and includes eight free admissions. In the studio, Jordan Jagelinzer, WBZ News.